welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make the very popular cylinder stands that you can use for your wedding or any celebration here we go You have been asking and asking and asking for these stands and I totally need them. <laughs> so it's the perfect project and um, it has been uh, driving me crazy trying to figure out how to make them. So I'm not really sure that it's going to work out. <laughs> so if you see this video, it totally worked out. If you don't, then you will never know, like I've said before. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started with the video. I've never tried this. I'm very excited. All right, guys, I'm going to be making two stands and they're going to vary in sizes. As you see them on Pinterest or on Google, this usually vary in sizes. So, you know, it can stand out and look nice and pretty. Um, this one I'm going to make 32 inches uh, in height and this is actually 17 and 3 quarters in width. So almost 18 inches. The one in the back is substantially bigger but you can't really tell from this angle. But this one I'm going to make 36 inches in height and the width of this is 23 and 3 quarters so almost 24 inches. So pretty good to get a few desserts on top of there. Alright so I'm going to start with the smaller one. And let me move this to the side. One thing about this though, <laughs> this bigger one is pretty heavy. It's really solid. So it's kind of good, not kind of, it is good because you're gonna have a solid piece of furniture for your dessert. But at the same time, whew, it's heavy. <laughs> I mean, I'll say it's about a pound. And this one is about half a pound or so. Okay, so, oh, one thing that I have to tell you guys, I ended up buying a jigsaw <laughs> because I really want to get into woodwork and um, I want to use it to cut all types of wood and, you know, just start making my projects a little bit more solid. Not that I'm going to stop making things with foam board because it is affordable, but you can also find very affordable wood and you can cut it with the jigsaw and you make the very same things I'm going to make out of a foam board, but it will last longer with wood. So I'm very excited about that. Um, since I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> I decided to just go ahead and buy the round wood. But with the jigsaw, I could have bought a piece of plywood and made my own round piece of wood and it would have been lighter than this. But you live and you learn and that was another reason why I decided, you know what, stop being intimidated by these tools <laughs> um, and go for it, you know? Because I have been looking at some projects and some, you know, backdrops and things that I want to make and foam board is not cutting it for me anymore. So I'm going to challenge myself to do more projects with wood. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to mix it up. I'm not just all of a sudden going to turn into this, you know, channel that does everything with wood, but um, it's going to be some of the things that I want to do next. All right, so moving on. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut my ballisters or my sticks here. They are each 36 inches in height. And I'm going to be using three of them. I think I said that right, didn't I? I don't know. Anyway, each round wood is one inch thick. Uh, and since I want to make this 32 inches in height, I am going to make this 30, okay? So let me just do one at a time. And here is my jigsaw, guys. Look, things are getting real. I got real tools. All right. Totally works. Totally works. Love it. You have no idea what this does to me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other ones and I'll be right back. I'm going to be making my larger stand 36 inches in height, which means that I'm going to need this to be 34 inches because each round wood is also one inch, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the same as I did with the other one. 
and just cut two inches off of this. And by the way, each of these ballisters were 87 cents. Okay, so here I have my 30 inch ballisters for my 32 inch stand and my 34 inch ballisters for my 36 inch stand. Now I'm going to mark where I'm going to be placing the ballisters on the round wood and I'm going to be placing them in a triangle position. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm just going to hammer it in on top and then I'm going to place the bolster right under it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around the poly ball panel around it. Okay guys, so my poly wall that you see right here, it's eight by four and it cost me $21 at Home Depot. All of my supplies today are actually from Home Depot, by the way. And I'm going to have to cut it a bit because it's a little bit too wide. I'm going to need 32 inches for my smaller one and 36 for the other one. So they're both um, smaller than what you see right here. So I'm gonna have to cut it. How? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'm going to use my jigsaw, but since it's bendy, I'm kind of wondering how's that gonna work. Also, I'm gonna have to go get another poly wall because now that I'm doing my measurements, it's not gonna be enough material for both. So that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the wire cutter. It's gonna take me a while, so hang in there. So I have placed the stand over the poly wall because I'm going to need to um, hammer it so I'm able to roll it. And the poly wall is going to be actually a little bit too long, so eventually I'm gonna to have to cut it. But in order for me to know how much I need to cut, I need to roll it perfectly, okay? So now I'm going to mark where I need to cut. And it looks like it's going to be right here. All right, so here is the deal. I cut this a little bit, not too short, but since it's bendy, I mean, it's not bad. You see, it covers the entire thing. But once you nail it, it kind of like, you know, bubbles up here. So here's a suggestion. You either cut it an extra inch longer so it can cover it up a little lower, or you will have to nail it to the wood this underneath, okay? Which means that it will be a better idea to hammer the wood closer to the edge. All right, so I was able to insert a uh, nail here sideways and that totally helped to close it out so basically what you have to do is insert make sure this is flat and insert the nail sideways okay to hold that another person here would totally help you know totally Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the entire stand in gloss white. This one is a paint and primer. And the reason I'm painting the poly wall is because it's not glossy. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the entire thing. And by the way, you do not need to paint the panel because it did not absorb the gloss. So all you have to do is just paint the top. 
Okay guys, this is it. These are my two cylinder stands and they are absolutely amazing. Perfect for your floral arrangements or these certs at your next party, wedding, whatever celebration you may have. Love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so right here, right now. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my stands and leave me a comment anyway because you know I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, 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 sharing is caring. If you know of a friend or a family member or you have a friend that's a event planner, make sure to share it with them at the end of this video because they can save themselves a buck or two. All right guys, until next time, bye. I promise I won't lose a finger. See you later. Go up to the office. I'm having some shades. All right. Have a good day. So the hubby just gave me full instructions. <laughs> if I lose a finger, he said, put it on ice, <laughs> grab it, put it on ice, call 911, <laughs> and then call me. He's hilarious. I'm not going to lose a finger. Okay, so this is my very first time using this. I am kind of crapping my pants a little bit. But um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna master this. Oh boy. not steady enough for me. Jesus. Yeah, baby. <laughs>